No, it's a country house and former archbishop's palace. It is situated within No Park, a 1,000-acre park located to the southeast of Seven Oaks in West Kent. The house ranks in the top five of England's largest houses, occupying a total of four acres. There is a repeated myth that No is a calendar house, which had 365 rooms, 52 staircases, 12 entrances, and seven courtyards. At the moment, we are looking at the plaster statue of Perseus holding Medusa's head. It is a copy of a statue carved between 1800 and 1801 by Venetian sculptor Antonio Canova. The original is in the Vatican. The copy was probably made for John Sackville, third Duke of Dorset. Copies of famous statues were popular among the aristocracy. The Busa glue stove that you are looking at now is dated 1774 and it was invented by Abraham Buzeglo, Moroccan immigrant who settled in London in 1760. He patented the stove in 1765 and soon had many stylish society customers for his room heaters. The house was built by Thomas Bucie, Archbishop of Canterbury, between 1456 and 1486. It passed into royal possession in 1537 during the dissolution. In 1566, Elizabeth I presented the house and estate to her cousin Thomas Sackville, 1st Earl of Dorset, who remodeled the medieval palace between 1603 and 1608. The Great Hall would have been right at the heart of Knoll and where the whole household would eat together. The craved oak screen dates to the early 1600s and is decorated with leopards and other symbols of the Sackville family. Giovanna Zanarini, known by her stage name La Bacelli, was an Italian ballerina and the mistress of the third duke, John Frederick Sackville. She lived at Knoll during their long-lasting affair. This plaster statue of her naked reclining form by John Baptist Locatelli was commissioned by the duke, known womanizer. Just look at those imposing staircase. Only members of the Sackville family, important guests and high-ranking servants were allowed to use this grand staircase. We are looking now at one of the oldest surviving showrooms at Knoll. It was constructed when Knoll was an archbishop's palace between 1456 and 1538. The brown gallery connects the main part of the house to the bedrooms and was used for entertainment in bad weather. 
The furnitures and portraits in this long gallery have been arranged like this for centuries to impress visitors. This impressive bed was made for James II in 1688. It is one of the earliest surviving royal beds in the world. The bed was ordered for James II's apartment at Whitehall Palace three months before the king was exiled to France. Soon after, Charles Sackville, who became Lord Chamberlain, obtained the bed and matching furniture as a perk of his job. The spangled bed is a treasure from the 1620s. It is hung with crimson satin and covered with hundreds of sequins known as spangles. Beds like this were status symbol, often commissioned to mark a special occasion. It is believed that this bed was purchased by Lionel Cranfield, first Earl of Middlesex, to mark birth of his first child by his second wife, Anne Brett. Currently, we are looking at the bedroom occupied by Lady Elizabeth Germain, known as Lady Betty. She was a close friend of the Sackville family. Lady Betty was invited to live in these rooms after she lost her husband in 1718. She was a lady-in-waiting and companion to Queen Anne. Reynolds' room that we are looking at now showcases the work of the 18th century painter Joshua Reynolds. John Frederick Sackville, third Duke of Dorset, became friends with Joshua Reynolds, who painted his portrait in 1769. He was passionate about art and collected paintings at home and abroad. Royal furniture was brought to Knoll by Charles, 6th Earl of Dorset. He was Lord Chamberlain and could take unwanted furniture from the royal palaces. Edward Sackville West, known as Eddie, lived in the Gatehouse Tower at Knoll between 1926 and 1940. He was a novelist and music critic, passionate about art, music and literature. Eddie was regularly visited by artists and literary figures of the Bloomsbury Group. These included novelist Virginia Woolf, painter Duncan Grant and his famous cousin Vita Sackville West, the gardener and poet who lived close by at Sissinghurst. Within the tower there are two rooms belonging to Edward Sackville West, 5th Baron Sackville. The bedroom and music room contain many of his personal belongings, including books and music records, as well as his gramophone and visitor book. Today, 
The house is cared for and opened by the National Trust, which has owned the house since it was donated by the 4th Baron Sackville in 1947. The Trust owns the house and approximately 52 acres of the adjoining park. Much of the house is lived in by the Sackville Wests. The Sackville family or the family trust own the remainder of the deer park.